the night that I was there, that kickoff for Louisiana Addiction Research Center, you got up and you sort of gave a welcome and a kickoff speech for this organization. I want you to start this morning and tell Aaron and everyone the story you told me about your motivation for all of these things you do related to related to the study of addiction. Okay, well, a lot of people don't know this, but both of my parents were alcoholics and I was raised in that type of uh, environment. But, you know, I didn't know I was living in a, a dysfunctional family. I thought everybody was like that. I thought every eight year old knew how to make bourbon and Coke and, and Cuddy Sark and water and uh, could mix drinks and make coffee in the morning. I, I just thought that was normal. And when I got older, I realized, uh, well, not everybody lives like that. And the reason I tell that story is because, you know, I, I have my problems with holidays. I don't get excited when Christmas comes around. I don't hate Christmas, but it's like, oh, gosh, because at my home, the holidays were time to drink more. It wasn't this is when you drink. It's when you drink more. And, and, and I say that because think of, a, a, let's say, a little girl that's, that's growing up in a home and uh, it's a single family home being raised by her mother. And her mother is on methamphetamine, say, and she uh, goes on a three day meth binge. Who, who's taking care of the little girl? Who is making sure that she has her schoolwork done? Who makes sure that she's taking her bath? Who makes sure that she eats? Uh, the, these children are being neglected and they're being neglected because there's no one there to take care of them because of, of the drug use. And so I look at my own upbringing and, and it certainly wasn't bad and I didn't turn out in a bad way. But then I think about all these children that are growing up in, in these homes. And if we don't break the cycle, if we don't do something about the the addiction problem this cycle is going to continue and continue so the louisiana addiction research center your new undertaking not that you've dropped anything else no, along I'm the still way doing the rest your new undertaking. tell me about that tell us about that mm. what is that exactly it it's we want to make it something great it's going to be a place where we continue our 35 years of research in uh, drug addiction. We're working with the cardiovascular center and looking at the effects of methamphetamine on the heart, which is something nobody's talking about. Uh, we want to work with the School of Allied Health to develop uh, other means for treating, say you have back pain and you go to the doctor and he gives you opiates. Well, there are other ways to to treat that uh, physical therapy is one of the ways but research is only one thing we want to be what we would call a data aggregator meaning uh, there are places now that track drug use and they say well this is a problem and that's a problem but somehow they missed the opioid epidemic it became an epidemic before they realized there was a problem with opioids and I promise you within the year, there's going to be a methamphetamine epidemic that nobody saw coming except you is talking it, to me. Is it still getting worse? Yeah, of course it is. Mm -hmm. This is something though, you have been sounding the trumpet on this as methamphetamine for as a, Years. <laughs> as a cross demographic, as a cross uh, economic strata problem that's not getting better. That's right. It's getting worse. And it's not just uh, homeless people or whatever you would you would say. Uh, it, it's it's doctors. It's lawyers. It, it's everyone is is everyone. It, it, like you said, crosses all demographics. That's what else we want to do with the Louisiana Addiction Research Center is is humanize addiction. It's not just somebody else. Somebody who's using drugs is somebody's son or daughter. And, and it, this person has a family. This has, person has people who love them, and nobody's paying attention. You know, the, go it ahead. I'm is, sorry. Is, it's a drug, too, that we, we forget. You can make it in your home, and, pe and that's what people are doing, and it's obviously not safe. I mean. That's not safe because a, a house in my subdivision blew up four years ago because wow. they were making methamphetamine. But now 
the Mexican drug cartels have figured out they can get these cheap ingredients and make it by the ton and ship it across the border and use the same pathways that they use for marijuana and it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Was it you who told me, I think it was, that one of the that one of the unpublicized collateral damages of so many states now embracing legalized marijuana is that all the MS-13 guys who were basically marijuana dealers for years and years, now they're not. Well, they got to find something else to do. So now they're methamphetamine dealers and it's worse. And that's part of it. It's also that they can make more money through methamphetamine and they don't have to grow a crop. Marijuana has to be grown. There are, are growing seasons. You don't have that with meth. It's a chemical mixed up in in, in a, a, a lab, a la, I use the quotes, in a laboratory well, no, somewhere. Because you and I would, I don't want to say joke, but when every year when they do the Red River cleanup, just to show you how ignorant and or naive I am to things, and and there's always the story of, you know, three tires and a refrigerator and a kitchen sink, the things that wash up on the shore, and a meth lab. And I would go, what the hell? A, a meth lab is like, and you came in and everyone, no, a meth lab will literally fit in the back seat of your car. A, a meth lab fits in a two liter Coke bottle. What? Yes. Mm. Well, if someone's making it in their home, it's called shake and bake. And they, I, I took a course with the, the Cato Sheriff's Department. I know how to do it. I could actually make it myself if I wanted to. But you put it in the bottle and you shake it up. And I'm not going to say how you do it, but it's basically a two liter Coke bottle. 